The report of a gun in Bethesda Chevy Chase High School ended up being unfounded this afternoon, but it still caused panic for many parents. Many walking away frustrated after learning about the incident through their children or right here on Fox 5, not the school directly. It comes hours after MCPS announced they'd be starting gun education assemblies this fall, something else parents didn't know about. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez starts us off. After the school went into lockdown, some students had messaged their parents. Those parents then showed up outside of the school here wanting to know more about what was going on. But then the Chevy Chase High School PTSA president Lyric Winnick tells Fox 5 she was able to learn information through her school sources, sharing with parents that way. Her son. Dr. Moody came on the announcements with a panicked voice and said that we need to go into the lockdown drill. And that panicked all of us because we didn't know what was happening and he didn't explain. Officials say at around 9.55 in the morning, the school's administration got a call from a parent whose student claimed they apparently saw a gun after some kind of verbal altercation broke out in a hallway. The lockdown began about four minutes later. The school system told us about 20 minutes after. Police tweeted about 30 minutes after, but Winnick says communication directly from the school didn't come for nearly an hour. Montgomery County Public Schools spokesperson Chris Cram acknowledges there are many tasks the school has to coordinate in a lockdown. Within 45 to 50 minutes, the school did get out a message to families saying that we're in lockdown for this reason. A short time later, before 11 a.m., they uh, initiated another communication where they said that uh, uh, police are here, they've determined there's no credible threat, students are being transitioned to lunch after a shelter in place, and we're uh, having a normal dismissal perfectly reasonable within that time frame. We need a real-time communication protocol. We saw this at Magruder. We're seeing this again. We need to get into the 21st century. Winnick says there should be a designated parent coordinator. I understand that in these type of situations, their main priority is taking care of students. Um, but I do wish the communication was better. Um, I was actually, I speak Spanish, I was translating for some parents that don't understand. Some parents reflecting on the situation also told Fox 5 they had no idea MCPS recently announced plans to hold gun education assemblies at the county's high schools this fall. The state's attorney's office plans to lead presentations on what the gun laws are, how to best report emergencies, and how to recognize concerning behavior. The school's spokesperson says this was a perfect example of see something, say something. Back to you.